Greetings everyone, Core here. And after looking at my last video, uh, not the Man Cave one, but the Captain America review, I've realized not many people come to me for reviews. I think the Raid 2 one was just a fluke. So I'm going to start making these a lot shorter because probably people don't want to watch a you know, 9, 10 minute long review, which half the time I'm not talking about the movie. So, uh, Spider-Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man number 2 today is what I saw. And that was the worst hints, but screw it. Um, I saw the 7 o'clock show, so this is actually going up before midnight, at least my time. Uh, granted, uploading will probably be right after midnight, but it'll go up a little bit earlier. So first, I want to say this movie was definitely better than the last one. <laughs> I mean, the, the first Amazing Spider-Man was pretty good. This one is just, like, so much better. Uh, it reminds me of the path of the original trilogy of the Spider-Man movies, where the first one being good. Second one being great. Uh, the third one, hopefully they're not going to screw it up as bad as the first trilogy, but we don't know. I mean, from all the build-up and stuff, it looks like they can't screw it up too bad. Because um, it doesn't seem like they're going to be rushing a lot of villains. So the, here's hoping. Uh, besides that, uh, Green Goblin was pretty good. Uh, Rhino was interesting. Uh, and then also uh, Electro. Electro probably had the coolest scene when he first encounters Spider-Man as Electro. Uh, the music, the effects, the battle, its everything just comes together and it really shows you why someone so obsessed over Spider-Man, that's a nobody, becomes the way he does. Uh, I'll try not to spoil too much because I want you to see it, but if you've read the comics, I'm pretty sure you get a lot of stuff from it. Uh, I have been noticing a few things from the Marvel movies that a lot of stuff comes from the Ultimate Universe. Um, in case you don't haven't read, I know I'm saying it a lot. In case you haven't read a lot of comics, the Ultimate Universe is just the latest universe that they kind of created. Um, in like 2002, I believe. Uh, Spider-Man being 160, X-Men being 100 uh, issues, and then also uh, Fantastic Four being 60, and then also there's the Ultimate Stink, which is the Avengers version in the Ultimate Universe, and then there's a whole big uh, comic series at the end that kind of ties everything together. It's pretty crazy. It's actually a good series. Um, I've read X-Men. I uh, haven't read Spider-Man yet, but I've read, also read Fantastic Four and also the conclusions and all the little tie-ins, except for Spider-Man. But it's really good. Uh, a lot of them tie into a lot of the other story arcs. It's a more younger version of themselves that happens. You know, all these powers and enough stuff come to them sooner in their life than before. Uh, except for Spider-Man, I think he gets them at the same time because he gets them early anyways. So, Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it starts off with Rhino, granted out of the suit, and then it kicks into the origin of Electro. Then there's a fight with Electro. Uh, and then during this whole time, there's also stuff going on with uh, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy. You know, the whole breaking up to save you so you're not getting involved in all this stuff. You know the story. You've seen the first three. So <laughs> uh, it's the same thing pretty much that happens with Mary Jane. Uh, but Gwen's a little bit more competent, pretty much. Um, after that, uh, there's the Electro fight, then there's a whole conflict with uh, Harry Osborn, then there's another Electro fight, and then there's the Green Goblin fight, which, like, thinking of all these superheroes, and then Rhino's at the very end. Uh, or is he? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> thinking of all these heroes, it's like, it's nice how they uh, paced it all out. You know, they didn't just rush them all. They gave them the story that they needed. Uh, Jamie Foxx was really good. Um, the actor who played Harry Osborn, which I don't know his name because I've never seen him in anything else. Really good. Uh, even the origin of Green Goblin is pretty good. Uh, Electro is really, he's the main reason why you, you come to see this movie. He's the main villain, pretty much. Um, and every one of his scenes where he's fighting Spider-Man, every one of his scenes is just pure amazing. <laughs> uh, pun intended but uh, yeah so like you have to see this movie it's a great movie and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this you've probably already seen it or you're going to go see it later today um, I know my reviews of popular movies usually don't get that many reviews but screw it I like doing this and I like to give my two cents about stuff and plus I try not to spoil stuff too much um, this is, uh, yeah so the next movie will be in about two weeks I'll be reviewing Godzilla? Uh, yes, I believe Godzilla is the next movie. Yeah. So, until next time, guys. Later.